your thumb. It goes from here to here. This bigger screen goes from here to here. Now, that's either A, an amazing coincidence, or B, a dazzling display of common sense. Pretty sure it's the common sense thing. What's up, everybody? Your boy, Pat, back again with another edition of Second Take, where I talk tech and I speak sports. Today's topic of the day is Steve Jobs and Apple were right. Smartphone users don't want big phones. In fact, they want bigger phones. This is a Heat Rocks production. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell as it helps out the channel. Now, how did we get here? Let's take a look at history of Steve Jobs and Apple and some of the things that Steve Jobs said and why he said it and how those events led up to him actually saying what he said. So the iPhone 5 was the first iPhone to get rid of the three and a half inch screen and actually go to a four inch screen. The commercial I just played you was Apple and iPhone stating that the four inch screen was the perfect size because of how one's thumb would be able to reach the entire screen. So why did Apple have the need to make this commercial based on screen sizes and thumb placement well, it started out when the iPhone 4 had users saying that they were losing reception to their phone and Apple's response was, you're holding it wrong. So when Steve Jobs was questioned about this, his response was as follows. Gripping any mobile phone will result in some attenuation of its antenna performance with certain places being worse than others depending on the placement of the antennas. This is a fact of life for every wireless phone. If you ever experience this on your iPhone 4, avoid gripping it in the lower left corner in a way that covers both sides of the black strip in the metal band or simply use one of the many cases available. So what does antenna gate have to do with big screens and iPhone? Well, let me explain. During this same press conference when Steve Jobs was asked about antenna gate, people were saying, why don't you just make the phone bigger so the antennas aren't in the way of people gripping it? Steve Jobs replied that he disliked the new crop of bigger phones from Samsung. Quote, you can't get your hands around it no one's going to buy that. He also derided big phones as Hummers. Now let me take you down a trip of sales for iPhone. In 2010, Apple sold 39.99 million phones, almost 40 million phones. Most of those phones were iPhone 4s. In fact, Apple usually releases their iPhone towards the back half of the year, so the numbers for iPhone 4 are going to be a combination of 2010 and 2011 sales. They sold in total 50 million phones of iPhone 4. Now the iPhone 5, the first one to go to a 4 inch screen, sold 143 million phones. Almost triple, going from a 3.5 inch screen to a 4 inch screen. So Steve Jobs, yeah, he might have been right that people don't want big phones. I think they want bigger phones, and I'll explain why. So if you look at the chart I'm putting up here, you can see Apple has consistently sold more phones every year, peaking in 2015 at 231 million. That year, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6S, and the iPhone 6S Plus all were released. The 6S Plus had a 5.5 inch screen. 
So in 2013, when Steve Jobs was talking about Samsung phones and how they had big screens, let's keep in mind, the S4 was released in April of 13, had a five inch screen. The S5, which was released in April of 14, had a 5.1 inch screen. The Note 3, which was released in September of 13, had a 5.7 inch screen. And the Note 4, which was released in October of 14, had a 5.7 inch screen as well. So, in the year 13, the S4 and the Note 3 were out with a 5 inch screen and a 5.7 inch screen. Keep in mind, Apple had a 4 inch screen. When they got up to the iPhone 6S Plus, they had a 5.5 inch screen. My point is, Steve Jobs thought people didn't want big phones. With a 5.5 inch iPhone, that being a big screen wasn't quite as big what the Note had in 2013 with a 5.7 inch screen. They actually wanted bigger phones. And I'll take it a step further. The iPhone 7 had a 5.4 inch screen. The iPhone 8 had a 4.7 inch screen. The iPhone 9 had a 5.2 inch screen. And if you look more recently, the X had a 5.85 inch screen. The 11 had a 6.1 inch screen and the 12 had a 6.1 inch screen. If you look at Apple's data, every year they continue to sell more and more phones. Smartphone users are actually looking for bigger, bigger, bigger. How do I know this? Look at the latest iPhone that is out. You have the iPhone 12, you have the iPhone mini, you have the iPhone 12, you have the iPhone max and you have the iphone pro max apple's data shows that the apple pro max and the apple pro are the top two sellers those are the two bigger of the four phones that are out and in fact the iphone mini they have figured out that they overstated how many iphone users would want the mini they have stopped production or slowed production in many different markets and many different countries and use that extra resources that they have now to make more of the bigger two variants. Now, for argument's sake, let's say Steve Jobs was still alive and never went into the bigger screen market. The iPhone mini, the 12 mini today, is a 5.4 inch screen and yet no one is purchasing that phone. Meanwhile, the iPhone 5 had a 4 inch screen Imagine in a world where no one wants a 5.4 inch screen, what they would think about a four inch screen. And for one last point of reference, I'll throw up one more chart for you guys. It shows 2018 data all the way going up to predicted 2022 data. If you look at screens that are five inches or less, in 2018, there were 150 million people using one of them phones. The projection is to have less than 25 million people using that phone in 2022. Currently, it's at 40 million. And if you look at screen sizes that are between six inches and seven inches in the red on top, in 2018, 295 million people were using a phone of that size. It's projected to be more than double. 660 million users are using a phone that size so it looks like bigger phones are here to stay smaller phones are a thing of the past so i'll say it again steve jobs and apple were right no one wanted big phones like the mini 5.4 inch screen they actually wanted bigger phones like the iphone pro max which has a 6.7 inch screen the biggest iphone that has ever been produced shout out to everybody rocking my instagram youtube the anchor app you can also find me on spotify as well as apple and google podcasts it's your boy pat peace catch you in the next one